Now the Akutas are looking for Boruto and the others will they escape from Lord Ko, which Boruto has gotten Unuki in his back while he's trying to escape in the region from the rendezvous point, which he actually took him to an area that Unuki woke up and tried to get some answers from him, which he kept saying that it's all for peace, which Borto won't allow it because he's still gonna get Miski back and try to get them, I mean, try to get them to justice. However, the area that Unuki is in is a is a place called the Sun I mean, Shu Plains, which a which is a area that has a magic barrier in it, which is so powerful that once people get in it, they can't get out. So we actually knew that Borto tried to get out, but he failed, which he's gonna keep on trying. Meanwhile, Larko as Kukuya and Kaku about the situation, which he told them to send more Akuta to find them. But Lord Kokuya, I mean, sorry, Kokuya actually told them that more people will be suspicious about the Akuta returning, which means that he's gonna let Kiwa to clear their memories before everybody began to ask questions which means that we're actually seeing Lord Ko creating more Akutas. Meanwhile, we actually see Miski looking at the items that Kirawa collecting, in which we actually see Sukiye and Kaku told Miski that Lord Ko wanted to meet him which we actually see in the rendezvous point of in the Inujin trying to teach Akun how to speak while we actually seen Sarada and Chojo with and reaching the rendezvous point we actually seen them telling them I mean telling Inujin the situation of what happened. Meanwhile back at the Sun Tzu Plains, we actually see Borto failing to escape. However, we see Unuki giving him water and giving him food because his, his conscience won't let him die. Which the plains is actually a training ground. Which also explains why Boruto tried to use his shadow clone Yuzu. However, the barrier is so powerful that no Yuzu or any other skills can use in the planes. So Boruto decided to stay with Unuki while getting food from him, which he actually explains that during this old times that fighting is actually how people produce hate which he also explains that he was the one that created Lord Ko and the others which means that he actually created them but he needed Miski to help him be perfect which we have to see Lord Ko meeting Miski about the curse mark in his heart, which we actually knew what he actually want him to do. Meanwhile, we have to see Sekie as Kaku, the book that he's reading, where well, all of a sudden he actually felt his hands are breaking while Kiroa is actually falling down which means that they're falling 
the same thing that Sekie once felt. So we actually knew that they were actually running out of time. So we're actually going to see in the next episode what's going to happen next. So we now actually learn the truth that it was Unuki was the one who created Lord Cohen and others. So what that means is to make them perfect, he needed Mitsuki's help to do it. So I guess that's the reason for all of this to happen. So we're actually going to see what's going to happen in the next episode next weekend. So let's find out soon. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment on what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and look at my Facebook page. Until then, this is Amigado here saying sign out. Laters!